And those are true words. I mean, some people actually really don't like drama, even though they, you know, even though there's those other individuals that say they don't want drama, but then they cause the drama anyway. There are people out there that really don't want it. That's what I'm trying to find. Trying to find those individuals that aren't going to cause me a whole bunch of heartache and issues. And, and I can narrow it down to that one. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go out with a whole bunch of different women and stuff like that. I just wish you would just let me show the fuck up, to be honest. Almost as, you know, some of you just wish I would shut the fuck up. I wish you would just show the fuck up and then I could stop complaining about stupid shit when it comes to women. But I guess until that fucking happens, I'm going to be complaining like a motherfucker. And it's like, uh, some of them, they want to be with somebody that will accept them as a lead. And uh, it's just not happening, you know, for me. I just see too many bad choices, uh, too much negativity. Uh, single parent homes and stuff like that, they just, they don't make it as far. And I know it, and they know it, but I guess they make those decisions anyway. Well, if the guy that I chose isn't correct, then I gotta try to do it by myself, right? So, bad choices. It's a catch-22. You can't get out of it, basically. So, obvious. I mean, it, it, it turns to the obvious thing. Bad choices. And I don't want to make a bad choice either. That's why, I mean, I can find these problems and cut them off before they, they escalate. And I don't want to, I don't want to have a whole bunch of problems with my life. I don't want somebody that's going to choose to cause a problem. Simple stuff. I tell you I'm going to call you at a particular time, I do it. I tell you I'm going to be somewhere at a particular time, I do it. 95% of the time. 95% of the time. So if I don't call you, know for a fact there's a problem. If I don't show up, you know there's a fucking problem. But these people, the ones that I keep running into, uh, they don't have reasons. It's just lazy or stupid or try to cause you to act stupid or forgetful. But they just don't have fucking answers for why not to be punctual. And most of this is understandable only as far as an individual is capable. And when I say capable. I don't mean capable against the world because it's difficult against the world. What I mean is truly what is their ability? What is their capability? Well, what are my problems? I have many and I'm not afraid to admit that no one's perfect. But how did I get stuck in a bunch of simple problems? I mean my problems are so simple a retard could get over it if people would just fucking behave. I don't know. It leads me to this feeling issue and non-comprehensive pattern and all these other things. It's so simple to me. It's like I need to be on drugs to numb the fucking reality of these fucking retards. My guess is that most of them are probably part of the government. But let's not go that deep into it. Let's not go that far because it might cause somebody to fall off track and ask me what the hell am I talking about. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to make it a part of the conversation because you know for a fact that the retard is listening right now and they're going, what the fuck are you talking about? How are you going from wife to government? How are you going from, how are you making this connection? You know it's there. I just don't want to keep running into the same issues over and over again with the wrong women. I just want to run into the right woman for me. As if it's too much to ask, I need to tell you, it's not too much to ask. Simple. And for all the negative ladies out there, you need to learn how to find one and keep one, man. I look forward to hearing from you.